it is sushi Saturday again. We got the two sushi bowls. And this week's special is the salmon aburi sushi, so we got two orders of that. It is pie day today, and Hubby and I are going to have this pizza. This is a frozen pizza. It's the stuffed crust one. Hubby and I shared the cheese one before, but I've never had this three meat one, so I'm really excited to try it. Hubby has had this before, and he said it was good. Also for pie day, we bought this decadent chocolate chip cookie pie. It bakes for almost an hour and then you have to let it cool for 30 minutes. Here's what it looks like. We're gonna have this with ice cream. Just like this picture. Here's the portion I'm going to start with. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday today and it's been a pretty busy week so far, but um, I think it's going to quiet down in the next day at least. I am in a good busy place though. It's my busy sweet spot as I'd like to call it. It basically means I have just enough to keep me motivated and inspired and energized so that is a very good feeling. It's a fine line though between my busy sweet spot and being too busy so I always have to be careful to set boundaries and just balance it out so that I don't get to the point of being too busy because that's when I get anxious and stressed out but right now I'm in a good spot of busyness. And so I thought I would pop on today to talk a little bit about the first day of spring which is coming in two to three days. Saturday is the first day of spring and I have almost finished the deep cleaning challenge. Now you might recall that last time I did this challenge bits of the condo would start to get messy or dirty again just because it's 30 days from the beginning to the end so I am starting to see a bit of dust here and there so I will be going over those bits on the day before spring I'm gonna vacuum everywhere but I only have um, today and tomorrow of cleaning the kitchen and I'm almost done the kitchen took about the same amount of time as it usually does last year I think I had lost some steam when I was cleaning the microwave so I wasn't super thorough and there's still kind of like a lot of grease and stuff that are in the nooks and crannies. So this time I took a chopstick and I started digging out some of the crusted on grease and it was pretty disgusting but it didn't smell bad or anything like that. I didn't, I didn't take a close whiff but I couldn't smell it from where I was standing. So I cleaned out a lot of the grease but it's still not super duper pristine because it's really hard to get into the nooks and crannies. But the kitchen was pretty much the same as always. I only have two more lower cabinets to do and I also have to clean the oven. And hubby is off from work tomorrow, so I'm gonna get his help to pull out the oven so I can um, vacuum behind it and also wipe the floor that's under the oven that I know is very dusty and I'm sure I've dropped some food particles down there when cooking and such. First thing I wanna do when I'm done that deep cleaning challenge is to start on that puzzle that I showed you guys, the 3000 piece one. I'm gonna start that on Saturday. Hubby's working on Saturday, so I plan to have a lot of puzzling time that day. Speaking of kitchens and cooking, I haven't felt like cooking in a very long time, but fortunately we've been getting a lot of discount codes for Uber Eats. So we've been ordering Uber Eats pickup a lot. I ordered Japanese food for today. We also ordered Japanese food a um, couple of days last week. Hubby went to pick up Carbon Bar on the weekend as well, and we've had that for a couple of days. 
So I haven't been cooking a whole lot, but I go through phases as I'm sure you are all aware of by now and um, I'll get back to a place where I feel like cooking again. It's just not right now. I might bake something soon because um, we bought some canned pumpkin for Lulu. She's starting to have like a little bit of trouble pooping. So we're gonna up her fiber intake by giving her some canned pumpkin, just plain pumpkin with no spices or sugar or anything like that added. We give her a little bit with her meal and that usually helps with um, her pooping. I'm going to open that can. It's a big can pretty soon. So I might make the um, pumpkin spice mini loaves that are on my website because those are delicious and they freeze really well. The decadent pie was pretty good. I don't know if I would get that again. It's quite heavy. I think I prefer fruit pies. So today I actually bought a small blueberry pie from Metro and it's, um, it's delicious. We've had this pie many, many, many times and it's just their house brand. I think it's the Irresistibles brand and it's really yummy. We've got a tub of vanilla ice cream in the freezer, so we're going to have a pie a la mode for dessert today after our Japanese food. I've already eaten a piece of the avocado maki, but here's what we got. I got the avocado and the inari and avocado. We also got this, which is a buy one get one free salmon tempura roll. I think I'll have a couple of pieces of that, but that's mostly for hubby. Hubby's not home yet, and I'm starting to eat without him because um, I like to be done eating by 6 p.m., but he should be home soon. He ended up also ordering the Kibo roll, which looks really good, even though it's kind of squished in the plastic. And we also got him a noodle salad. I really love the salad as well, but I find it very, very filling. I haven't been super hungry lately because of all the takeout we've been getting, so I decided not to get the noodle salad for myself this time around. Oh, and happy St. Patty's Day. I am having lots of avocado for this green occasion. Abby and I went to Farm Boy for the first time today and we picked up a bunch of stuff. These are chorizo bites, so little chorizo sausages. We also got some naan. I'll show you the packaging in a bit, but I've already heated these in the toaster oven. We're going to have the rest of the pine nut hummus. Here's the packaging for the garlic naan. It smells really garlicky and it smells really, really good actually. This isn't Farm Boy brand, but I got some crystallized ginger. I've been craving this. My friend was eating some on a FaceTime call the other day and it looked so, so good. So I've been craving crystallized ginger since then or candied ginger. The cereal also isn't Farm Boy brand. This is Barbara's and it's the Puffins peanut butter cereal. I don't know, this just really appealed to me so I decided to grab some. We got the Farm Boy lemon shortbread cookies, the sweet and spicy ginger cookies, and we also got this big box of Farm Boy mini cheese croissants. So these aren't that big, they're pretty small. We've had quite a lot of the naan and they're really, really good. Very um, fragrant, very pillowy and delicious. And the chorizo bites are delicious. They have this um, flavor that's very similar to the sausages that we bought from the markets in Paris or in France. Maybe we were in Lyon actually, but um, it's got like this funkiness to it. I can't really explain it. This is the first time I've had chorizo that tastes like that. Normally they're like very kind of almost like overly spicy and that's all you taste, but this has a really good depth of flavor light spiciness, not too spicy at all, and it's got that funky taste from the sausages from Lyon. I think they were rosette. I had already put this away so I forgot to mention that we also bought the Farm Boy sauerkraut and report back on the croissants. They're pretty good. I love cheese croissants so they're right up my alley, but I wouldn't say they're like the best best croissants and I don't know if I would buy them again, but um, they're certainly tasty. Hubby and I got special takeaway today from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. No occasion, but um, we've been meaning to use a gift card that hubby purchased 
it's probably a few years ago now, and we've had it kicking around. We haven't used it, and we decided that today is the day. Hubby is off today and tomorrow, but he's working this weekend, so we are going to have our steak dinner now. We also bought a bottle of wine. We are at the point where we can buy wine again because we finished... Um, all of the wine we had in our wine fridge, as well as most of the port. We actually only have one bottle of port left. And surprisingly, we've made our way through quite a bit of the whiskey. We've been doing whiskey cocktails every now and then, and it's been a very long time since we've purchased a lot of alcohol. We've decided to purchase a bottle of wine every now and then, and we only buy one bottle. We don't stock up anymore. Um, this is the one that hubby chose for tonight. This is a Rioja, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to take turns choosing the wine. So I chose last week, no, two weeks ago. We ended up getting the dinner for two. It comes with these bread rolls, a Caesar salad, which I'm assembling right now. I have the lettuce and the dressing They've packaged the croutons and the cheese separately. We've got um, like the Parmesan petals and also some of this like freshly grated Parmesan. Hubby and I both chose mac and cheese for our sides. So this is one of the sides and then the other one is here, but we're gonna split this one. This is my steak. I got the filet. I think it's 11 ounce. And then hubby got the 16 ounce ribeye. So we're just gonna put the mac and cheese onto our plates along with the Caesar salad, and then we're ready to chow down. And this is the pie that we had from yesterday. I ate my half already, but hubby has a quarter left. Here is my dinner. A really huge steak. I usually only eat about hmm, like half of this, so I'll probably give hubby lots of it. We busted out our um, fancy napkins. Can't remember where we got these, but these are really nice because they look like actual linens but they're um like disposable napkins and then hubby's meal is there he doesn't have enough room on his plate for the salad so he's going to eat it out of the container and then he's got all the other containers on the side because he's going to use the bread to um soak up the sauces oh crap my pothos is not supposed to look like this I just realized today that I messed up the numbering. My spreadsheet said that a particular pothos needed water and I was checking the wrong one. So I couldn't figure out why that soil was so moist. And then today, as I was just, I was standing in the bedroom and looking out at the plants and just like admiring them. And then I looked up and I had put this plant on like a higher shelf. So it's not really at eye level. And when I looked at it and I saw it so droopy, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't been checking Pothos 3. I've been checking Pothos 4. This one is Pothos 3 and it is very, very droopy and sad. It's not supposed to look like this. It's usually very perky. So I've gone ahead and drenched it in water and hopefully it will be fine. I mean, Pothos are pretty resilient and hardy so i think it'll be okay i was just really sad to see this and i do plan to get some more plants this year so maybe what i need to do is um actually put a number on them like a little sticker on the pot just so i can be sure because i've done this a couple of times but it hasn't been that bad like usually i realize right away almost but because it's been so busy i just didn't even think about it so I think I do need to number each pot, very similar to how I did for my um, baby watermelon pepperomia, which I only have two left. It is Friday afternoon and I am officially done the 30 days to spring deep cleaning challenge. I just finished cleaning the kitchen. It went really smoothly this year, but um, I did lose motivation midway through. I, it really felt like a drag to clean some days, but I did it bit by bit and I am done. I'm so excited. All I had to do today were the countertops, the sink, and I vacuumed the entire condo. I haven't wiped the floors again yet, and I think I'm just gonna leave it. With the 30 day challenge, 
as you're cleaning, things get dirty again. And of course, hubby Lulu and I still live here, so things are gonna get messed up. Hair and fur everywhere. So I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the night. Now that I'm done the cleaning challenge, I'm super looking forward to tomorrow, which is the first day of spring. My pothos is um, starting to perk up again. Let me grab it just to show you. These leaves are starting to perk up. I was a bit concerned when I came back from my walk because um, it was still really, really droopy and I was out for about an hour and a half and it didn't perk up hardly at all. I, I couldn't tell that it had perked up. So I um, just put it back in its spot and now the leaves are starting to stand up again. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm feeling good about this plant surviving. This was the first one that I propagated, so I have um, a little bit of a sentimental attachment to it, or it's the first pothos that I propagated. This isn't like the peace lily, which perks up within half an hour, an hour, and it's completely happy from like a very droopy state. This one, I think, needs a bit more time, but it is starting to... Um, be happy again so i'm really really glad happy first day of spring everyone i am starting off this first day of spring by saying goodbye to my woodland creatures mug this mountain hair and a hair and i think there's also yes a rabbit i didn't love this mug when i first got it so obviously i bought it because i liked it i really loved the um rabbits and the hairs on here but when i got it home i found i wasn't really drawn to it i didn't use it a whole lot but after i started using it and it became part of my daily habit i really did enjoy this mug but yesterday hubby broke it by accident you could see a little chip in the top and i thought you know what i'm just gonna keep it and still try to use it but when i went to steep my tea this morning I heard a crack and you probably can't see it, but from the chip, there's a crack that now goes all the way down to the bottom. It's just a little hairline crack, but all the boiling water started coming out onto the stove. And it's funny because when I was cleaning the stove, I was pondering this lip that goes all around the um, stove top and it was kind of hard to clean this part. I had to kind of like put the cloth in and use my nails to kind of dig out any bits that were there. I don't know if I did a really thorough job, but you know how when you start thinking about something, your mind goes in all different directions. So I was like, oh, maybe it would be better if they didn't have this lip, but I bet this lip is here for a purpose to catch spills and such. And it just kind of rolled over in my mind a little bit. And this morning I was so glad that there is a lip because all of that boiling water started seeping out. I didn't really move the mug in time because I didn't really know what to do. I guess I could have lifted it and tilted it and that's what I eventually did. But half the mug of hot water had seeped out and it was all over the stove, but it was contained by this lip so it didn't drip down and it didn't get in between the stove and the counter because I had already cleaned that the other day and it didn't go onto the floor. It was awesome so i'm really really thankful for this lip this morning i woke up right on time this morning i've been waking up at 6 a.m and i baked some pumpkin spice mini loaves so i'm going to have that for breakfast i also made a smoothie i think i will end off the vlog here i've been kind of up and down in mood lately i'm on the one hand very excited for the first day of spring i'm also really happy to be done with the cleaning challenge i'm feeling a lot of spaciousness this weekend especially with hubby working i just feel like i have a lot of time an abundance of time and it's a really nice feeling so i'm feeling a lot of good things but at the same time i'm Hmm. I'm feeling very um, on edge and short-tempered and I think it's because of um, the news. Haven't been following the news that closely but of course I hear things and I read things and just with the shootings that happened in Georgia, the rise of hate crimes against the Asian community I've been listening to a few podcasts about it and reading some things about it and that has really 
affected my mood and I'm sure um, I'm not the only one. So I just wanted to name that in this video. I know I haven't talked about it much. My videos have never really been about current events and news, although sometimes I will reference things that are happening in the world, but I did feel like it was important to name that in this video. So I guess that's all I have to say about that. I hope you all are doing great. I know the frequency of my vlogging isn't that high right now, especially contrasted with Vlogmas, as one of you pointed out, but I do think of all of you all the time. I'm, um, always thinking, you know, I should tell them this or I should show them that. So I think with the weather looking a bit up, having more daylight, I will get a sense of wanting to do more, maybe more motivation and such to vlog. I do feel though that there's not much going on in my life right now. I'm just in a groove, my daily routine, work, relaxing and there's nothing really that interesting that's happening so that's another little something that's kind of making me think twice about should i record this clip this is kind of like the same thing as always anyway i will just roll along and um i will keep vlogging of course but um, i'm not sure about the frequency yet it may pick up but it also may not. That is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all having a good start to spring or fall if you're in the southern hemisphere. I will see you all in my next vlog. Bye!